The Suncor plant in Commerce City has once again released a dangerous pollutant into the air. The higher than normal levels of sulfur dioxide were detected yesterday morning. Now there have been dozens of violations at Suncor over the past six years. A fire at Suncor back in December shut down the plant and resulted in nearly 40 violations. In 2020, Suncor paid $9 million for air pollution violations. The state found more than 100 violations dating back to 2017. And in the latest, the public was not notified by CDPHE about the release until hours later. Denver 7's Jessica Porter spoke to the health department about the health impacts to the neighborhood. Air monitors detected two spikes of sulfur dioxide from Suncor Wednesday morning, one at 155 parts per billion and another at 186 parts per billion, more than twice the federal national ambient air quality standard of 75 ppb. What we know about sulfur dioxide is that it causes a range of different impacts, primarily on your lungs. Um, it can cause wheezing, shortness of breath. But because those levels were not detected for one hour, the sulfur dioxide pollution did not exceed the federal standard. CDPHE says, quote, if we suspect a violation occurred, we conduct a thorough investigation and follow the formal enforcement process as established by state statute. Air pollution concerns have persisted for years here at Suncor. In December, a fire injured two workers spewing pollutants into the air as well as Sand Creek. Residents living nearby have called for more regulations. CDPHE says short term exposure to sulfur dioxide can have health impacts like exacerbating asthma, especially in vulnerable groups like those with respiratory conditions, older adults and children. Children tend to breathe at higher rates than, than adults based on their body size. And there also is some evidence that shows that they might be more vulnerable to sulfur dioxide. When unhealthy levels of sulfur dioxide occur, CDPHE recommends people limit strenuous outdoor activities, close doors and windows, use an air conditioner set to recirculate and avoid the areas most impacted. The wind direction tends to follow the South Platte River. So, um, if when the source of the emissions is Suncor, then sort of going somewhat north of the facility, we would expect that most of the time that would be the worst area. Jessica Porter, Denver 7. And digging deeper now into the health impacts, the University of Texas did a study on the risk of cancer among those who live close to oil refineries, and they found that people living within a close proximity had a greater risk. So people within 10 miles of a refinery had higher rates of cancer diagnoses compared to those living 20 to 30 miles. And just last month, Denver 7 spoke to an organization. They told us that people who live in Commerce City are feeling the impacts of Suncor. Cultivando partnered with a group of scientists to research air quality. Proximity matters, and if you live near a facility, you are much more likely to experience any health impacts than if you live further away. Suncor responded to the study saying they're supportive of all air monitoring efforts and value their relationship with the group Cultivando. Suncor says they will continue listening to the community and are committed to doing this work in a data-driven and collaborative way.